Yo, 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 what it is, what it do, what is good? Looney Platona, welcome back. I bet you didn't think you were going to see me for a while, huh? It is me, it is I, your boy local. I'm back, fam. Hope y'all been good. Hope you stay safe, staying blessed, as always. Now, I have was just randomly, you know, on YouTube thinking, oh, do you know what? I need to get back into recording, bro. I really do. I need to allow the live streams, you know, not allow them. I'll still do a few. But I need to really get back into recording. It's the bread and butter, right? It's the bread and butter. Let's get back into recording. And then I send this notification pop up. And it's honestly, it seems like you guys want the gin series back. So, of course, we're bringing it back. And in this video, we have got the devil and the tree worshippers. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you sit back, relax, enjoy. Grab yourself a drink. We about to get educated up in this mofo. Now, it has been a minute since I've done any gin series, so I am kind of lacking. So please bear with me while the knowledge floods back in. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and enjoy the video. Let's do this, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, gin series is back. Let's do this. Ah. Merciful servant. Mentioned that story that somebody was living in, in, in a village or in a town, and by all of a sudden, the people in this town started worshipping a tree. A certain tree, they said that tree is God, and they started to actually go and worship that tree and prostrate to the tree, uh, do tawaf around it, offer sacrifice to it. So, man ra'a minkum, whoever sees evil, let him what? Change it. So this believer in this town decided to change that. This is shirk, this is haram, and we're going to have to do something about this. So he said the ideal way in order to uh, avoid any conflicts with the people, he decided while they are asleep at night, he's going to take an axe and go and he's going to take the tree down. Alright, so this is what I'm getting. So, a whole time was worshipping the tree, right? And then somebody was like, yo, this ain't right. This ain't right. This I'm going to assume he's saying this isn't God, right? And by the title, I'm going to assume it's the devil, bro. So, he said, you know what? Now, something needs to be done. I'm going to chop this tree down. Bet you any... The boy, this is going to kick up a conflict. So he's going to do it while he's sleeping at night. So there's no like fighting and stuff like that. But I'm assuming, I don't know if I'm right. I know you will tell me in the comments. But I'm going to assume the devil is either in or around that tree. And it's not God at all. So he's pretending. Because we know the devil has to pretend, doesn't it? We know this. We know this from the Throne of the Devil series that we did. A year ago. I remember that part. He was sending, you know, the more light to sending all the gins out to mess with people and make them do things. Like I said, they were moving like a business. It was a movement. But I feel like in this one it's kind of similar because in that one there he he pretended to be was it God on water and then it was I just go back and watch it. It, it will explain it better than I am right now. Like I said, it was a year ago, but I still kinda remember it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm assuming this right here is not God and it's the devil. And one person has seen that and he is going to sort it out. decided while they are asleep at night, he's going to take an axe and go and he's going to take the tree down. Guess who met him in the way? Shaitan in a form of a man. Oh shit. Where are you going? I'm going to cut the tree. No, you're not. Yes, I am going. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So they got in a fist fight. That believer beat the heck out of this man. If this is good English, I don't know. God damn. God damn. So this dude, this Donny, beat the brakes off the devil, fam. <laughs> My man had the hand of God that if you're a football fan, we know it's Maradona. But in this case, it was this guy. And he beat the brakes off of this devil. 
Shaitan. Beat the brakes off him. That believer beat the heck out of this man. If this is good English, I don't know. When he doesn't get you this way, he comes around. He's smart. Mm. He said, can I tell you something? You're a righteous, pious man. Those people are already wicked. Uh, they are going to hell. I have a good idea for you. You go home and you don't have to work anymore. No, no, don't, bro. Don't be making deals with the devil. Don't be making deals with the devil, bro. Stick to your guns, your beliefs. Don't let nobody sway you from your beliefs. And every single day, I'm going to drop for you two dinars in the morning. So you end up staying in your house, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you don't have to go to work. Those people are already doomed. Because they are already in shirk. Why do you bother? The man, that makes sense. No, it don't. A person would not buy that, by the way. A learned person is stronger mm -hmm. on shaitan than a thousand worshippers. Somebody who just worships, he doesn't have the knowledge, shaitan can get to him easy, can play with him. But someone who has the knowledge, he will not buy that because when you work, you're actually worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're providing for your family. It's an act of worship. But he, he sold it to him. Shaitan oh, sold it to him. Man. He bought it. So he went back home. The first day, he found the two dinars. There's going to be dire consequences to this deal, isn't there? There's going to be some dire consequences to this deal, bro. And that's why you never make deals with the devil, bro. Stick to your guns. Stick to your beliefs. Your knowledge is power. Stick to your knowledge, your beliefs. Don't let nobody sway you from that. In the morning, the second day he found the two dinars. The third day, no money. Why did he break his promise? Okay, tonight I'm taking the axe and I'm going to cut the tree. It's too late now, bro. So he took his axe at night to cut the tree. Guess who met him? Shaitan. Where are you going? He's not going to be able to beat him now, is he? He's not going to be able to beat him. I'm sorry for pausing so much, y'all. This is what I love about this channel, bro. Like, the stories, the storytelling. It just engages you. And I've got to try to remember, remember, like, remind myself, bro, you need to pause and talk. It's a reaction video. Pause and talk for him. But... Yeah, I feel like because he's then gone against his beliefs and, you know, he stopped working. I mean, he made a, made a deal with the, the shaitan, the devil. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to beat the brakes off him today. I think he's going to get his butt worked. I'm going to cut that tree. He said, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So they got in a fight. Guess what? Shaitan beat the heck out of him. Shaitan beat him so bad. Shaitan, I've been pronouncing it wrong. I apologize. So I mean, how come the first time I beat you and the second time you defeated me? He said, the first time you were fighting for Allah, the second time you were fighting for the two dinars. See that? You can defeat Shaitan if you establish servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah declared this at the very beginning. He said to Shaitan, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. My servants, those who obey me, you will have no power whatsoever over them. Mm. Okay. Let me run that back quickly. I apologize. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm getting it. So Allah said to the shaitan that whoever obeys me and does it properly, unlike the man there who threw it all away for two dinars, um, they said that he said the shaitan would have no power over those who obey him. So the fact that he gave that up, the devil was able, 
was able, the shaitan was able to beat the brakes off him, bro. Like I'm saying, I'm gonna finish this, and then 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 we're going then then I'll say what I've got to say. <laughs> Sultan, my servants, those who obey me, you will have no power whatsoever over them. Mm, mm, mm. I like that. So, yo, there's a video for y'all. Hope you enjoyed it, man. Do you know what? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know why I stopped doing this. I think I was just overdoing everything. You know, people asking for this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing. I just got to rein it back in and start keeping it simple again. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you would like me to make this a weekly running episode, should we say? I don't know what you want to call it. Series. We're weekly running series here on this channel. And let me know. Go ahead. Smash the like button. Drop a subscription. It's free. I appreciate y'all. And let me know in the comments below whether you want me to keep doing these on a weekly basis. It's got me hooked again. One video has got me hooked again. Again. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying earlier, just stick to your beliefs. Stick to your beliefs. Stick to what you believe in. Don't let nobody sway you away from your beliefs. Remember, knowledge is power. Knowledge is always power. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. I'll catch you in the next video. I love you guys. Been your host, Loco. And I'm out, y'all. Ciao!